this so here comes a problem I think we have already solved a problem on uh, triangle and uh, rectangle so it's a problem on pentagon as you know pentagon means a surface with five sides uh, let me read the problem first a pentagonal lamina of edges 25 mm is resting on HP one of the important points okay with one of its corners such that the plane surface makes an angle of 60 degree width HP okay the two of the edges containing the corner on which the lamina rests makes equal inclination with HP so if we give 60 degree inclination to HP the next statement will be satisfied no need to worry about this particular statement okay when the edge opposite to this corner makes an angle of 45 degree with VP so it's an inclination of 45 degree with VP and nearer to the observer yes uh, that will be holds good if we give this condition okay draw the top and front views of the planes of the lamina in its position fine hope you got the problem statement so the next ever step is to draw XY line and to locate VP and HP I have already done it so next a pentagonal lamina of 25 mm sides so and resting on HP with one of its corners so in case of planes that particular corner should come towards the left our towards our left okay so if the corner comes towards our left it is understood that we will get a side towards our right and the dimension is 25 mm so draw one 25 mm line in your grid book exactly 2.5 boxes yes 25 mm line uh, make sure that every other lines are thin except the top and front views the pentagon portion okay so next so once I draw this once I draw this 25 mm line uh, what is the each angle in a pentagon it is 360 divided by 5 so that is 72 degree so now from here take 72 degree so measure it it will be around here 72 and from this side also measure 72 degree okay it will be around here so draw two thin lines very thin lines very thin lines okay next take the compass take the compass every side is 25 mm so take 25 20 5 exactly okay keeping this here cut an arc of 25 and keeping this here cut an arc of 25 so we got 1 2 3 correct so uh, should we uh, need to measure the angle again no since we got both the points from here already it is 2.5 from here cut an arc of 25 and from here cut an arc of 25 so we'll get the intersection at this intersection you have to join the pentagon and make and make all the sides of the pentagon thick <laughs> okay so let me name it first uh, as in the problem he has mentioned it's a corner resting so we got the corner towards this 
left so this is my a b c d and e right so now we got the top view so next thing is to get the front view so project all the corners you will get it this b and e you will get it in a single line and this d and c you will get it in a single line so make this particular thing the front view thick and see from front if i see this from front uh, since i don't have any pentagonal structure here you just assume on your own uh, since this i can see fully this will be outside the bracket a dash and b and e here i can see only b but not e so it is b dash and within the bracket e dash and in the next case i can see only c so c dash and within the bracket d dash okay hope you understood so the first section the first ever part is done and the next thing the next thing is we have to check for the inclination surface makes an angle of 60 degree with hp so inclination with respect to hp can be seen in vp right so we have to give 60 degree inclination for this so take the protractor keep it here measure 60 degree and protractor keeping the protractor here measure 60 degree okay now draw one thin line draw one thin line okay next take the compass first a dash to b dash e dash you take the measurement and cut it here and next b dash e dash to c dash d dash from here cut the arc now you can increase the thickness of this particular section okay and this is my a dash this is my b dash e dash and this is my c dash d dash right and the angle which we have given is 60 degree and the next thing is you have to project all the corners downwards and here as well project it forward all the corners okay so now now we have to check for the common points a and a are meeting here so this is my a b and b are meeting here so this is my b c and c here so this will be my c d and d are meeting here this is my d e and e are meeting at this point and this will be my e so now join a to b b to c c to d d to e and e to e to g so the second part is also done we got the four diagrams we are left with two anyways so now you just leave this statement that is already been uh, satisfied when the edge is opposite to this corner so this is the corner on which the pentagonal lamina is resting which is the edge opposite to this corner that is dc 
but not this DC we have to consider this DC the second diagram this DC makes an angle of 45 degree with VP so the inclination with respect to VP can be seen in HP what is the angle 45 degree so take the protractor measure 45 degree I am taking angle this way so the 45 will be almost here so draw a thin line draw a thin line now this DC should come on this 45 degree line this is my 45 degree line so DC so now I'll mark a point at a limit as C now taking this compass I'll measure what is DC and from C I'll cut an arc for T so this will be my D okay now keeping C and D as two points we have to cut all other points so now first D to E I'll cut D to E next C to E C to E D to E and C to E so I'll get an intersection that will be my point E okay next D to A D to A D to A similarly C to A C to A so C to A so I'll get the point A correct next and the last one C to B C to B similarly D to B D to B D to B so I got all the points so now I have to join so C to D D to E A and this is my B no B so A to B B to C and A to E A to E so I got even this position right so now my job is to get the final position for that just project all the corners upwards in a thin line make sure that the lines are thin and from this position project everything forward and make sure everything is thin again okay so once you are done with the projections now mark the common point see a and a are meeting here so this will be my a dash correct b and b are meeting here this will be my b dash c and c are meeting here so this will be my c dash i am putting dash because it is front view d and d are meeting here this will be my d dash e and e are meeting here this will be my e dash right so now my job is to join for all the points a dash to b dash b dash to c dash c dash to d dash and d dash to e dash and at last e dash to a dash so this is the final position and this is one of the problems on pentagon hope you understood yes this is it
थैंक यू